All right, so today we got a big paddle review for you. This is the highly anticipated paddle drop of the year. And this is the Ben Johns Perseus. We have the 16 millimeter and the 14 millimeter. We have been playing with these paddles for a while now. We're gonna give you our honest thoughts. And if you end up liking this paddle, go ahead and click the link in the description below for 10% off. Let's get right into the video. All right, so Kaden and I just got off the court, finishing up a drill session, uh, drilling with the Perseus uh, Ben Johns 16 millimeter, and also experimenting a little bit with the 14 millimeter. Uh, off the bat, Kaden, what are some of the things that you really liked? Yeah, I personally loved this paddle uh, for my resets. It had really good control. Um, but believe it or not, I actually really loved it for my speed ups as well. So um, as much as, uh, you know, this would be considered, you know, your 16 and your control paddle, it had really good feel for my resets and it had a really good feel for my speed ups as well. Um, while I also felt like I was able to create a, a lot of spin. So my, my top spin and my back spin just felt really good on this paddle. Yeah, so uh, a couple of things that I really liked off the bat were my serves and my drives. Um, one of the things actually we've been seeing uh, in Ben John's game, uh, obviously this is his signature paddle, is his serve get bigger and bigger. I think he's been improving his technique uh, and his power, but I can see why um, he's getting the power because this paddle here has a lot of pop. It just, it has a lot of spin. So my serves felt really, really effortless. And um, also my drives felt really good as well. One-handed and two-handed drives. Um, the third thing that I really liked about it is my rolls. So for my, um, you know, backhand and my forehand, like fourth shots as I'm, as I'm leaning in, rolling from the net and uh, also my, my top spin dink. So anything really top spin dropping my paddle head down, I really felt like I could accelerate up and it just it just had a good feel. So those are some of the things that I really liked. Uh, Kaden, what are maybe some of the things, uh, maybe one or two things that you disliked about it? Yeah, believe it or not, there it's, it's a very short list in terms of, of what to dislike about this paddle. But uh, one of the things that I personally uh, am not a huge fan of in paddles is, is just the bigger paddle face. Um, personally for me, I'm a baseball player, so I love having the glove kind of feel part of my hand. And I love the same thing with my sweet spot on my paddle. I like my sweet spot to be a little bit closer to my hand. So a longer paddle face probably wouldn't be for me. Um, but nonetheless, the, the, the sweet spot on this paddle is still incredible. Yeah. So a couple of things for me is the, the miss hits. So number one, it's really interesting because I never felt this in another paddle. I've, I mean, I've tried probably hundreds of paddles, but when I would miss hit on the side of this uh, Perseus, it felt like a like a clunk. It was something that I've never experienced before. But as I began to hit this paddle a little bit more, I felt how solid that it felt. So kind of comparing it uh, really quickly, because I've been hitting a little bit with the Vatic Pros and also the Legacy and the, the Carbon Power Series. Um, one thing that I would say is the Perseus 16 millimeter Ben John signature model is definitely softer, I think, than a, a Carbon Power Series. Um, and it's kind of around a Vatic Flash kind of feel. So it has really good feel um, and, you know, for resetability and things like that in transition, but it has a lot of pop too. But it's, it's definitely not as hard as something like a carbon power series but that's what i would say um the things i kind of dislike the the miss hits and uh and the last thing uh the sweet spot i would say is a little bit smaller than i'm used to um i'm used to right now i'm playing with uh the halo slk 16 millimeter max so that's a little bit bigger sweet spot but uh when i did hit it cleanly uh, it felt very very solid very good yeah, you, you definitely have to be a little bit more precise to use this paddle, which is why, honestly, I would either recommend it to tennis players or in terms of pickleball, I would say anywhere from your, your high level 3.5 to, to all the way up to pro. Yeah, so um, this Perseus 16 millimeter paddle, I definitely would probably not recommend it to beginners, but intermediates uh, getting up to that 4.0. I think number one, if you are starting to learn how to hit topspin and roll the ball, utilizing spin uh, if you're not 
utilizing a lot of spin in your game, I probably wouldn't recommend this, but if you are learning how to roll, you're learning how to hit top spin, uh, dinks, top spin drops, and things like that, this paddle is really, really great for that. Now let's just quickly go over the difference between the 16 and the 14. Obviously, uh, the Ben Jaws signature model is the 16. Uh, what are the differences here that you saw between the 16 and 14, Kaden? Which one did you like? Yeah, so so personally, I, I usually am a poppier uh, paddle type of person. And so, of course, the first thing I grabbed when I saw these paddles was the 14 because I thought I'd like the 14 more. Um, now, the Perseus 14 does have a little bit more pop, but I did find I lost a lot of the forgiveness and the control that I got when I when I was using the 16. So I, I personally will stick with the 16 just because I gained so much in the control aspect um, while also keeping the pop. But this one does have a little bit more pop. You just lose that control. Yeah, so you all know out there if you've been watching our videos that I am a 16 millimeter guy. I like the soft plush pillow. And this is definitely not as soft as um, most Thoroughform paddles, but it has great control. I would definitely pick the 16 over the 14. The, the advantages I found over the 14 obviously is gonna be a smaller grip size if you like that, and maybe some maneuverability at the net, but um, the power off the 16 is not, um, I don't think it, there's a big gap between the Perseus 16 millimeter and 14. Yeah. You, you felt the power there and you have the touch and the reset ability that you need. Yeah, couldn't agree more. I'm on the kitchen. All right, so those were our initial thoughts. Again, we've been hitting with this for a while now. We just got done for, with a, a long drill session here. Uh, this is a really solid paddle. For those of you, I, I see comments on Facebook and things like that. The comments I see are, this is basically just a marked up legacy or, or marked up uh, Vatic. And what I can honestly tell you, this is not the same paddle as those paddles. It's not even close. It's it's uh it just feels more solid and it's it's just a way different feel. You're gonna have to experiment it with yourself for yourself. If, if you would like this paddle, go ahead and go to the description below and we'll have a 10% off coupon code. Uh, I think this is a really good paddle for those of you who are working on your attacking, your speed ups and uh, rolls like that. We really recommend this paddle. It's a good one. Um, any last thoughts here, Kate? No, uh, like Jordan said, you do have to be a little bit more precise of a player. So, um, you know, if you guys feel like you're trying to work on, you know, trying to speed the ball up and, and add some spin to your game, um, this paddle's for you to try. All right. Thanks so much for watching us in this review video. We plan to bring you a lot more reviews. Leave a comment below on what other paddles you'd like us to give honest review on and try. Uh, and until next time, we'll see you in the next video.